Okay, so exercise 10e question one, um, we've got two particles that are joined with a light inextensible string. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw that into a diagram. So, so there's particle P, there's particle Q, and there's a force applied to particle P. So I'm going to have that going off to the left there. Um, and I'm told that it's accelerating with an acceleration of 0.4 meters a second squared. Okay, and I'm also told the masses of the two particles. The mass of particle P is eight kilograms, so its weight is eight G. The mass of particle Q is two kilograms, so its weight is two G. And particle P is gonna be being slowed down by the, the tension and particle Q is being pulled along by the tension um, and those tensions will be equal and opposite to each other. So part A wants me to um, uh, find the value of F. So to do that, I'm gonna model, model it as a single body. So I'm gonna use F equals MA. I'm gonna take the left as positive because that's the direction it's moving in on, on my diagram. So if I look at it as a whole body, the two tension um, forces are equal and opposite, so they're cancelling each other out. So the total force to the left is just force F here, and that's going to equal the total mass of the body. So that's going to be the mass of P and Q combined. So they've got a combined mass of 10 kilograms. And I'm told in the question that they're accelerating um, at a rate of 0.4 meters a second squared. So quite a simple calculation, the force is um, 10 times 0.4. Okay, so for B, I then need to find the tension in the string. Okay, so to do that, I'm just gonna look at particle P on its own. So if I just sketch out particle P on its own, it's got the tension working off to the right. It's got that force, which I now know is four newtons off to the left, and its weight is eight G. So if I use F equals MA just on particle P, and again, I'm gonna take the left as positive. So I've got the four Newton force to the left minus tension equaling its mass of eight kilograms. And so I know the acceleration is 0 0.4. So if I add T over to the right-hand side and subtract 3.2 from the left-hand side, I get the tension is 0 0.8 Newtons. Okay, and then the last part of this question um, asks about the modelling assumption. So we were told to assume that it was a light and extensible string. That's a very common um, common assumption to make. Um, and I won't bother writing this out. Let's just look at the solution to this one. So the fact it's an extensible means it's not stretching at all. So both of those particles are moving with the same acceleration. And the fact that it's light means that the tension is, is the same throughout the string. And it also means we can ignore um, ignore the mass of the string. Okay, so that's that's a standard assumption um, that they'll make about strings and ropes and things. Um, so quite a standard answer if they ask you about that.